Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you with me through my upper body workout. It will be a heavy one, so let's go. Okay guys, we're at the gym. Um, I usually train here or at another location which is more near my office, um, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, we're training upper body today and it will be a heavy one as I'm only doing six to eight reps and three sets. We're only filming one of the sets, the last one, because otherwise the video will take way too long. So let's do this. I'm starting off with putting my hair in a ponytail as I have hair extensions, which means having a lot of extra hair. We're doing the lifting shots in voiceover style as it's easier than talking out loud in the gym where people will definitely hate me for it. We're starting with some active slash short hold stretches as it helps me to warm up my muscles, let my blood flow and having less chance of pulling a muscle. Next up is the first lifting exercise which is called the bend over row. I'm first starting with only the bar to get used to the movement I'm gonna do with heavy weights. I usually start my training with a compound exercise as it targets multiple muscles in my back and warms them all up. It's also a heavier lift so I want to make sure to put all my fresh energy in it as my energy will be lower at the end of my workout. As I told you, I'm only showing you my third set, which was heavy as hell. I did three sets with 60 kilograms for six to eight reps per set. Important, while doing this exercise, make sure to keep your neck and your back straight to prevent yourself from injuries, tight those abs and core muscles, and don't forget to breathe. So my soul left my body after doing this exercise. Uh, still love it though. Now it's time to re-rack some weights because that's also part of your routine. Comes with a job. Okay, let's go. On to the bicep curl exercise. My favorite as I can do this isolation lift quite heavy. I'm using 15 kilograms per arm. And for the people who are curious about my PR, it is 22 and a half kilograms per arm for six reps in total, which means three reps per arm. But um, you know, I felt like a beast when I did that. And to be really honest with you guys, that was in 2021 or maybe 2020, it's a long time ago. So I'm not sure what my PR is now. Maybe I have to try that out for another video. So uh, as you can see, I did eight reps per arm, but failed while doing the last rep with my left arm. So I felt like doing a single rep to end my last set in a good way. So let's talk some technique. Stand up straight, tuck your elbows in, bring your shoulders back and make a full range of motion. Don't go too high up as there is a dead point where you can hold the dumbbell easily and that's cheating and we don't want to cheat. We want to gain muscles so we have to work for it. Okay it's time to do my last rep because I failed. Let's go, you can do this. Woo! Amazing, whoa, incredible. Next up is the seated lateral raises exercise. It's a great isolation exercise for your delts. Doing this exercise while sitting is way heavier than doing it standing up as you can cheat and it's less isolated. I'm using seven and a half kilograms per side for eight reps in total. A tip to perform this exercise, slightly bend your elbows and bring your arms up until a 90 degree angle and don't go up higher. Tight your core muscles and keep reading. Dips on a dip rack, something I always dreamed of doing when I just started with fitness. I learned this by doing it with heavy training bands under my knees, so it helped me to come up. But since a couple years, I'm able to do it without and I just love the exercise. 
So let's talk some technique. Make a big range of motion, tight your core muscles. And we are targeting a bunch of muscles while doing this compound exercise. The main muscles we are using are the chest, triceps, and we are using some shoulders and back. Ending this workout session with the seated dumbbell press. It's an isolation exercise. I'm no fan doing this one. I really don't like it, but it's worth it. Uh, we are targeting the shoulders. We're paying attention to a big movement. Make sure to keep breathing. And I'm going a bit lower than a 90 degree angle with my elbows. Make sure to not go any lower as other muscles will be involved, which is not the point of this shoulder exercise. The very last thing I'm gonna do before leaving is stretching my full body because I have to be honest with you guys, I don't take this serious enough because I, yeah, just don't like it. It's just boring. But besides that, I have to do it from now on. I'm working on it already as it's super important. Weightlifting in general makes your muscles really short and by stretching enough, this will feel better make your body less vulnerable to muscle pain and tightness. So let's do this together if you're as bad as I am in stretching. Is that how you say that? I don't know. But um, yeah, let's enjoy together. I do have a stretching routine. I never use it or almost never use it. But if you want me to show you that this is weird, this is promoting my stretching routine while I'm not even stretching enough. That's weird. I'm not gonna show you my stretching routine. But I'm, I'm getting better at it, at it, so maybe in a couple months. Okay, so um, yeah, stretching, woo! You guys, thank you so much for joining my upper body workout. I hope you liked watching this. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down, down below this video. Hit the like button if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.